Hi guys and a really warm welcome back to Liz Plans. Today I am going to be doing my plan with me for the 1st to the 7th of August in my Erin Condren planner and I am really excited to be planning using these beautiful summery colours. I always feel like the August colours are so appropriate for the time of year and I'm really looking forward to having some fun with them. Um, this week I am going to be using uh, this buttons kit from Lime and Mortar. I really love Lime and Mortar stickers. I have got several of their kits and decorative items uh, and I really recommend you check them out. I will link the shop down below. Um, so I'm going to be using these. And then along with that, I have got all of my usual monthly items uh, that I get from Ellie Beth Designs. And I have also got some leftover items from last year. Uh, you'll notice some Nicole Hutch Designs and some Ellie Beth Designs items. And I went a bit crazy in August last year. Oh, these are Marches uh, from this year, washy, but I thought they'd go in well. Uh, but I did go a bit crazy last year in August. I think uh, I had sort of just started planning, just got into it and I didn't have many stickers for June and July that year and so I kind of went the other way for August and just ordered hundreds of stickers so I've got quite a few leftovers uh, so that's okay, I can use those in the spread. So as I said I am going to be using uh, these button stickers and the reason that I've purchased these is because I had a pink lemonade spread last year and I really enjoyed the pink with the green and the yellow. I just kind of feel it adds a little extra pop of colour, um, sort of a little something extra. So I've got the stickers from Lime and Mortar and what I will probably do is use these for two weeks because I am doing a white space look. I don't need more more than really four full boxes in a spread so this is another really great reason to have a look at these kits if you're a white space planner because you can get more than one week out of them and then I was looking for decoration to go along with those and I quite like there's this sticker here that's got hi hello and lots of different um, sort of greetings on it and I thought going along with that I got this sampler from Linu's Pots when I went to Plansterdam and I just think her stickers are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're really pretty and she draws them all herself but at the top here she's got some stationery items up here so I thought that with the hi and the hello and things maybe I could do sort of like a letter writing or a stationery themed bit of decoration and that that might go really well in the planner. So that is my kind of plan for this week. I will just show you the current week, which is this beautiful Dumbo week in um, the July colours. And I've really enjoyed using this. I think it's been a beautiful way to uh, finish off July. I love the colours. I love the stickers. I love the Disney theming. It's just all a win scenario for me, this spread. So, yes. Wow, that was a long introduction. Anyway, uh, let's get into the planning. So the first thing that I am going to do as per usual is just pop a, a bit of washi and some decoration along the bottom, put one of my sidebar stickers down and pop my shifts and the weekend banner on. And once I have done that, I will get back to you. Okay, so there's all of my kind of basic 
items from my monthly kits down and then the next thing I'm going to do is use some of the items from this kit so as I mentioned before I'm going to use four boxes and I'm also going to use these checklists for this week so I think I'll start off by popping the checklists down I know that I've got a day off on Monday and Wednesday so it makes sense for me to put one on those days because I know that I'll need to get a lot done on those days and then I'll probably just pop one on the weekend and one on Thursday or Friday so I've got uh, things throughout the week that uh, I can put down and then box wise there are a couple of different types of boxes on these there's the standard full boxes but then there's these ones that are sort of frame like and also sort of list type ones so what I'm probably going to do is use uh, as much as possible half and half so that I've got uh, enough next week to uh, make up a balanced spread I've not got too many frames or too many lines and things like that so I'll just start off by putting down my checklists and I'm going to try and alternate the monthly coloured ones with the other slightly different coloured ones to get a spread of the different colours throughout the week Okay, so there's the checklists down and then as I said, I'm just going to put some of these boxes down. So I think I am going to use this Hi Hello uh, box down at the bottom just here. So let's try and get this lined up as best we can. And Lime and Mortar stickers aren't um, repositionable per se but if you do make a, a really kind of disastrous error you can peel them up if you're quick so I'll just try and put these down as carefully as I can um, and then I think I am going to put let's have a think probably this blue box here just down on Monday And then I can write, because it's my day off, something that I do, or that it's my day off, things like that. And then, let me think. I'll probably use this framed box, and then probably this multicoloured box here. So, let's think where I want to put them. And then that will leave me with these four for another week, which I think is quite a nice uh, set for another week. So, and that's quite a fun one because it's got the scalloped edges. So I really like that. I think that's really pretty. And then I said I was going to use this rainbow box, which is really pretty. And I think I'm just going to pop that one just on Friday. try and line it up as much as possible before popping it down there we go okay so there's my boxes down and I think they add a really pretty pop of color I think they're really good fun actually I'm uh, I'm enjoying those so that's all of my boxes down so the next thing that I'm going to do is start to put some of the general things that I need to do throughout the uh, week with some of my usual boxes and things like that so I think to start with I know that on Monday I am going to need to run a few errands on my day off so I've just got some arrows from the monthly kit uh, that Ellie Beth Designs did last year so I can pop a couple of these down for errands that I need to run just take a yellow one and a green one oh that's not very straight There we go, like so. 
and then let's get out some of my weekly items so that I know what I need to put down. That would be easier than trying to memorise off the top of my head. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of wash stickers down on Tuesday for my washes. And I think I am going to put them in this square here. And let's have a look at what colours I want to use because it'd be fun to use sort of a variety of colours. So let's use this green one here. And then what colour would look nice with that? Actually, let's put them up here and I'm going to use these two and that just gets a bit more blue running throughout the spread. And I always think when you are pulling in extra colours, uh, especially if you're using a white space look, it's, it's always good to get sort of the variety of colours throughout the spread so that it looks a bit more cohesive so that's that there and then I need to do my meal planning so I think I'll do that on Friday up here and again I've got a variety of colours here so I can probably use uh, maybe this one, this one, this one and this one yeah to put down my meal planning and make sort of like a little actually now I'm going to put them down here oh I think this is going really well I think this is looking really pretty so that's really great um so let's put down a tv set So I'm just going to pop my TV up here, I think, for the week. And I am going to just grab my little TV stickers and see what colours I've got of those. And then from there and which ones I want to use, I can decide what colour sticker to use. So I think I am going to use the yellow and the green. And then I am going to use a pinkish to watch sticker uh, if I can and I'll just check because I've got lots of different to watch stickers what pink one I think would look best okay so I think I'm going to use this one here Yeah, I think that looks good. And this is a slightly more muted pink because that's seemingly what the rest of the pinks are in this spread. Not too bright, like so. And then my little TVs. And I have actually started re-watching Battlestar Galactica recently, which um, I bought it on box set a while ago when it came out. And if you have never watched it, I would really recommend you check it out. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, I will have plenty to fill my uh, TV area with because I am actually getting through that at an alarming rate. So, yes, I think... Uh, if people knew how much I was watching, they'd probably hold some kind of intervention for me. But never mind. <laughs> what can you do, eh? Uh, so let's just pop my marker for C group down at the bottom here. Okay, so I'm just going to pop one of these pink boxes down to start with. And these are just from a standard set of plain boxes from Ellie Beth Designs, which I always find really useful to have just in case you want to do 
something like this where you're combining colours. I always think these are like having plain t-shirts. They go with lots of different things and they're always really useful. So I'm going to pop that down. And then I'm just going to pop one of these mini flags down. Probably one of these pale green ones. These were from last year's uh, Ellie Beth Designs monthly kit. So let's pop that there and then I can pop down my Bible sticker, Bible study sticker rather. And these are from Sweet Quai Designs. There we go, just like so. And then I am also going to pop down my church marker here. So I'm just going to use one of these green larger flags. If it will come off the paper, there we go, like so. And then my church sticker. I'll just leave that for a second because I always end up repositioning it afterwards. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of washi. So let's look what washi I want to use. I've got some leftover washi from August last year and also some from March. So I think I'm just going to use this little bit just here. There we go, just like so. And then I have just got one last box just here. And I'm just going to also pop, I've got my planners from Sweet Quai Design. So I'm just gonna pop one of these planners down. And I want to pick between the pink and the blue one. And then for the last box, I am just going to pop one of these Grateful Four stickers by Ellie Beth Designs down. Okay, so that is all of my boxes filled, apart from adding some decoration from Linus Pots. So let's have a little look at what I can put down uh, to make this spread. So as I say, I'm probably going to go for just the, some of the stationary items and things like that. So let's see what I can put down. Okay then, so there you have it. That is my completed spread. Uh, I really like the way that this has turned out. I feel like there's a fairly decent of colours throughout the spread and I'm just pleased uh, this I think is a great way to add in some extra colours uh, to the monthly colours and make a spread that both celebrates the new August theme but also has something a little bit different in it and um, especially a little bit of extra pastel pink and blue because they're two of my favourite colours so any chance to chuck them in is great and I am also really loving these stickers from Linus Pots. I think it's a really nice kind of addition to have the sort of letter writing stationary theme with the hi hello uh, sticker down here from Lime and Mortar. So yes I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. As always I will link the shops that I have used in the uh, description down below if you would be interested in checking any of them out. 
If you have enjoyed watching this, I'd love it if you would give this video a like and you can always subscribe to this channel to be informed when I make more videos. We are nearly at 50 subscribers, so that is really exciting. I will also, as always, be posting about this spread and about other planner related fun on my Instagram. So you can always check me out over there at Liz Plans. But for now, that is everything. I hope that you are having a summery start to your August, wherever you are. And I will see you soon. Bye. Just a small extra note for any of the people watching from Australia, which of course is where Lima Mortar comes from. Uh, I hope that you are having a wintry start to your August. The wonders of the internet. Bye.